There is an eco-friendly way of feeding fish production with the rearing of the black soldier fly. Do you want to know how to produce this feed? The breeding of the black soldier fly starts with the insect cage setup phase, which includes spotlights to replace sunlight. The female and male flies need to do a dance illuminated by sunlight or artificial light before mating. The drinking trough and egg laying system. The drinking trough consists of a plastic container with a lid, which has an opening to allow the passage of a sponge, which absorbs the water from the container. This sponge is the support for the water intake action of the adult flies. Clusters are the egg laying system for flies. The female fly deposits her eggs per packet, called a cluster, inside the spaces of the corrugated cardboard. Each cluster contains between 500 and 1,000 eggs. Egg deposit sites are made by cutting corrugated cardboard into small pieces, which will be attached with a rubber band on top of a plastic container containing decomposing organic waste inside. Corrugated cartons containing seven clusters, between 3,500 and 7,000 eggs, can be handled in two ways. One, immediately placed on top of pots containing 50 grams of industrial fish or chicken feed and 70 milliliters of water for four days, or two, placed directly on top of the litter in a six kilograms bin. The first method allows to verify that the eggs are fertile by visualizing the micro larvae moving on the pot after four days and thus avoid wasting time. Then they are added to the bins with the organic waste. The preparation of the six kilograms bins is done as follows. Residues, preferably from various origins, are cut into small pieces and pre-mixed in the bin to accelerate assimilation by the larvae. The addition of rice bran during fly larval rearing ensures that the medium has the right consistency, neither too wet nor too dry. The height of the residue layer should not exceed 15 centimeters. These two conditions must be absolutely respected. One of the risks is to suffocate the larvae, which need to breathe freely throughout their rearing and which must be fed with a rapidly assimilated food with the right moisture content. The larvae stop growing. They are now about two centimeters long. Then they become pre-pupae, which turn brown, stop eating, and try to escape from the bins. The larvae are then separated from their excrements by hand or with a sieve. The fly excrement, separated from the larvae, is placed in closed containers, bags or buckets, to mature three to four weeks, before being used as organic fertilizer. Part of the larvae, 10%, often in the form of brown prepupae, are placed for a period of about two weeks between height and 10 plastic pots at a rate of 50 grams of prepupae per 100 grams of white sand or black soil per pot pupation process, preferably in the dark and away from other insects and predators such as ants. The lids of these pots are made of tulle or gauze with a rubber band attached so that the pupae can breathe. Within 15 to 20 days after the larvae pupata, they will hatch into adult flies. Constant monitoring of the pupae pots allows the first adult flies to appear. At that time, we wait two days before placing the containers containing the flies to be released in the insect cages suitably assembled and equipped. A cage should receive at the same time eight to 10 pots with flies emerging from the pupae. After two or three days of reproductive life of the adult flies in the cage, mating is observed. It should be possible to collect the first clusters of eggs from the corrugated cardboard, grouping them into seven clusters that should be placed immediately on top of organic waste to be recycled. This completes the reproductive cycle of the flies. The remaining larvae, 90%, from the fattening stage are poached and immediately placed in the solar dryer for a sufficiently long period to allow them to dry. This period can vary from 4 to 10 days, depending on the constant presence of sunlight. 
The dried larvae are crushed or ground with a hand grinder and stored in hermetically sealed containers for several months. This insect meal can be used alone in the first growth phase, first month, of the Gamitana juveniles or as a mixture, 50% of insect meal and 50% of cassava or plantain meal dried in the same solar dryer in the following months. The mixture is pelletized with the manual grinder. The pellets are dried in the same solar dryer. Gamitana's juveniles are kept in a floating cage for the first three months of their life, with 300 juveniles in a cage 2 meters wide, 3 meters long, and 1.2 meters high. The fish are then released into larger basins to continue their development, which is ensured by daily feeding of pellets made from a mixture of 50% of insect meal and 50% of carbohydrate-based meal, cassava, bananas, etc., at a rate of 4% of the total weight of the 300 fish, distributed in two batches in the early morning, 8 a.m., and late afternoon, 4 p.m.